welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my Valentine's Day gift guide. You guys seem to really enjoy my Christmas gift guide, so that is why I'm doing one for Valentine's Day as well. Valentine's Day is literally right around the corner, so I thought I would share some of my favorite picks on gifts. These are going to be both for men and women, and some unisex as well. And if you saw my Christmas gift guide, I did $25 and under. I have a broader price range for this video because for Valentine's Day, you're really typically only buying for one person. So I figured it's okay to splurge a little bit more on your significant other. So let's go ahead and just get started. The very first thing I want to talk about is a unisex gift idea, and that is a scarf. A really good quality scarf is such a great gift in my opinion. Living in Canada in a colder climate, scarves are like a necessity, and I'm very glad because I basically can wear them for the majority of the year. You guys know I just love my scarves. And the one I'm going to be showing you guys today is a very luxurious, really beautiful scarf, and it is a 100% cashmere scarf. This is from a company called Mooncats. The only reason I'm not wearing this today is because I'm also wearing like a gray shirt and it would just be way too much gray, but they did send this scarf to me, and this company specializes in 100% cashmere goods, I guess. They also have like hoodies and like things like that. It's kind of hard to show on camera because it's huge, but this is just kind of their classic 100% cashmere scarf in a dark gray shade. They do have other colors as well. They have a baby pink, which I am so totally tempted by because it's so cute and so feminine but this is just such a beautiful scarf like I said it's 100% cashmere so it's like so soft and cozy and just absolutely beautiful on there are a lot of different ways you can wear it too because it's like gigantic that is definitely my top gift pick I think this is just such a beautiful luxurious gift to give someone that they will have for years and years to come and they also do have more kind of light cashmere scarves like lighter lighter weight basically so if you live in a warmer climate and you think you or your significant other may not get a ton of use out of this then there are other options as well in my opinion the lighter ones are a little bit more feminine looking but it's up to your personal preference of course so once again that is from a company called moon cats I will have them linked down below next gift idea super classic Valentine's Day but you cannot go wrong gifting someone a fragrance fragrances are expensive and it's not something that someone would necessarily buy for themselves which I think makes some of the best gifts for men, my top recommendation is the Chanel Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. I bought my boyfriend this scent for Christmas and it smells so good. It's very mature without being like old basically and it's not too youthful either and it's just crisp it's fresh it's not too spicy it's not too much of anything like it's a scent that I think a lot of men would really love and I absolutely love smelling it on my boyfriend so I highly recommend that if you want to go the more affordable route for a cologne this is going to sound weird but the Hollister SoCal men's fragrance I know like no one shops at Hollister anymore but that fragrance is actually so nice, it's so underrated, and I think it's like $42 for a bottle, so a lot less than like Chanel and high-end fragrances. And it's like a really genuinely nice scent, like it smells very high quality, it smells a lot more expensive than $40. For women's fragrances, my top two picks are of course my favorites, my Tory Burch Eau de Parfum and my Givenchy Dahlia Divin. I love both of these. But if you are buying a fragrance for a woman and you don't really know what she likes, you can always go with like a classic like... Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, or something like Marc Jacobs Daisy, or like the Elizabeth and James Nirvana fragrances. Those are all bestsellers and they're all pretty safe bets. And also I believe all of the fragrances I just mentioned, aside from the men's, are available in rollerballs as well. So if you don't want to break the bank, you can go for a rollerball, which usually range from like $20 to $30. My next idea is one of my favorites. I think it's a really fun one, especially if you're having a date night in for Valentine's Day, and that is a couple's cookbook. So there are quite a few like date night in couples cookbooks out there at like chapters and things like that. I always love them so much and the reason I don't personally own one is because I haven't really found any that are vegetarian friendly. Or you could just get a regular cookbook and just like stay in and cook something together but I think the couples cookbooks are just so cute, so nice if you don't want to like go out and spend a ton of money on dinner. And cooking together is just really fun I think, it's just like really romantic and cute and just a lot of fun basically. So I highly recommend something like that if you're not trying to spend a ton of money this year. Next one is a framed photo of the two of you. Now you can really go all out on this one and get like a big professional print done if you want but Otherwise, you can literally take a picture from your smartphone, go to Walmart and print it out, buy a frame, pop it in, and you're done. And it's such a cute, personalized, sentimental gift. I gave my boyfriend a frame photo of us for our first Christmas that we were dating, and it was just so cute and so inexpensive. My next couple favorites are kind of clothing, pajama, loungewear kind of themed. And the first one is a really great pair of slippers. Now, 
for my boyfriend's birthday last August, I bought him a pair of Ugg moccasin slippers. And as much as I'm sure he hates to admit that he loves his Uggs, he really does. He has them on like every second of the day that he's at home. I have my own pair too, these really cute ones with the bows. My mom has a pair as well and they are just so cozy and so warm. And once again, a more expensive gift that someone may not buy for themselves. Or of course you can go for the more inexpensive route and do little like booty slippers from like Simon's or Victoria's Secret. Also tying into that is really good quality pajamas, like silk pajamas. If you are shopping for a girl, get her Victoria's Secret silk pajamas because I know everyone's been obsessing over those. I really want a pair myself, but I have to get the petite size and they're always sold out online. They're really nice silk pajamas. You just feel so like luxurious and like sexy when you're wearing them, even if they're like full length, like a button down shirt and pants. They just feel so like glamorous when you have them on. Or if you're shopping for a man, you can always do a really nice bathrobe as well. So next, also tying into the pajama loungewear kind of theme is men's underwear and I want to talk about Saks underwear these are like insanely popular they're my boyfriend's favorite we have kind of like a tradition where I buy him a couple pairs for like every occasion men freaking love these underwear like all men of all ages really love these and the reason without going into too much detail is because they basically have a little special section in the underwear that just kind of keeps everything together basically keeps you from having any issues. That's all I'm gonna say. You can google it if you want and see what they're all about but yeah really fun. They come in a lot of like fun colors. They're really soft, really great quality. I think they make a really great gift for your significant other because once again they are slightly more expensive for underwear. Now before we get into some techie gifts I have one more gift idea that is a lush massage bar. Once again great for like a date night in on Valentine's Day. They usually are like ten dollars at the most if I remember correctly. They're all natural, they're environmentally friendly and they're just like a solid cocoa butter and shea butter product basically that you rub onto the skin it melts on contact with your skin basically because of your body heat and then you use it as a massage oil afterwards and it leaves your skin super soft they're really nice my boyfriend loves them as well and a perfect little gift idea if you just want to do something nice and something small for your significant other and kind of pamper them a little bit okay so the last couple things are a couple kind of techie items and the first one is a wireless Bluetooth speaker for their phone if your boyfriend or girlfriend loves music this is a really great option my dad actually got me this for Christmas and it is the PowerPod 360 vibration speaker. I'll pull it out and show it to you guys. So this is a little speaker that connects wirelessly to your phone or to any of your devices through Bluetooth. But the cool thing is, is it is sticky on the bottom. So you can literally take it and just like stick it onto the wall or wherever. And it basically works off of the vibration to kind of echo. And it's like the most insanely powerful and loud Bluetooth speaker I've ever heard. You can even use it in your car as well and on the go. So just really great. Any music lover will really appreciate it and really be blown away by the quality of this. And my final Valentine's Day gift idea, like I said, it's another techie item, and that is a Fitbit Flex. They are the wristbands from Fitbit that you wear on your arm, and it basically tracks your steps, it tracks the calories you burn, tracks your heart rate, everything like that. So really good if you have someone in your life who is into working out and staying fit. And I think especially if you guys want to encourage each other to get back into the gym and get working out, if you want to work out together, you can get each other matching ones, which I think would be super cute and super fun. But yeah, that was all of my gift ideas for Valentine's Day 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you out if you are looking for something kind of different, something more unique for your significant other this Valentine's Day. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I really appreciate it, and I will talk to all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys! But for me, January was like the opposite. It honestly felt like six years of my life went by. It was like the longest month ever for some reason.